Uh, good morning, this is part one of the R-Set um, demonstration. What we have here is the radiant power panel. This is our unique design and um, we collect background solar radiation on this device. This is just uh, a monitor cable that we were using to test the configuration. The power comes along this cable. I'm just going to move in front of the camera. As we can see, let me come inside across the roof. As we can see, I'm following the cable down, and I will just connect from here. Here is the cable, and we'll come over the top. And that goes into part two of the demonstration, which then goes in to the light bridge. Thank you very much. This is part two of the R set configuration. And what you can see here, we have two boxes, blue and the red. Working from the bottom, blue cable we have this one which comes in from the antenna part three of the video will be showing all the powers so the power then goes through the light bridge and is converted to an electron type energy source here it goes into the energy management distribution and then comes out a monitor line which goes here the monitor line shows the DC voltage that we're getting, which is 14.02 volts. The second line here is the feed line, which then goes through the whole of the system. So we will actually come through for an amps and we come through for um, an AC voltage at 230. It then comes into an AC inverter and this is the supply which comes back to this meter here. So when we now provide power, like so, it should take a few seconds, and we've now gone up to 220 volts, spot on. A very, very small negligible amplage, probably 0.02 of an amp, and we've got a 5 volt output which you can see which is actually because we've got the red light on the bottom of the camera so it is charging and the blue saying we have um, an operational system so we can produce any form of 5 volts any form of 230 domestic AC supply and any form of high load uh, DC supply so this is the end of section 2 of the video thank you Good morning, this is um, part three of the RSET uh, presentation. We're now going to discuss the collection device. Now, this is currently a commercial solar unit and it will output five volts at about 200 milliamps. And this is our technology, obviously it's face down to protect our IPR and it has equivalent output of 44 volts. So we're like a factor of eight uh, greater and as we can see over here this is like 60 centimeters versus ours is at 30 centimeters but our density of this is really maybe one third of the size when we have a production device so this one as a real size at this density on here would produce in excess of 120 volts what we then done we take this and we've built into a complex serial parallel uh, configuration where we get a presentation of approximately 100 volts so give or take 10 volts depending on the ambient air and weather conditions that is the end of section three thank you right this is just for the proving that the torque is available so we've now got the voltage on there we're drawing 15 volts at zero amps. We know the system is quite capable of pulling 10 amps and 
Uh, somebody recently asked me, well, you can spin a motor, but is there any torque on it? So the only way to put a torque on it is to, I'll tell you what, it does help if you actually plug it in. <laughs> right. Like so. And if we now uh, drill a hole. <laughs> Oh, we drilled a few holes. Does that prove a point? And we're straight back up to zero loss in potential. As fast as you use it, the system will recharge itself. Thank you very much.